counting array elements using the size of operator. In many programming languages, the size of operator is a valuable tool for determining the size of data structures, including arrays. This operator can be used to count the number of elements in an array, but it's important to understand how it works and its limitations. Understanding size of. The size of operator is used to determine the size of a variable or data type in bytes. In the context of arrays, it helps in calculating the total size of the array and by extension, the number of elements it contains. How to count array elements. To count the number of elements in an array using size of, follow these steps. One, calculate the total size of the array. Use size of array to get the total size of the array in bytes. This gives you the size of the entire array. Two, determine the size of one element. Use size of array zero to get the size of a single element of the array. This provides the size of the type of element stored in the array. Three, compute the number of elements. Divide the total size of the array by the size of one element. The result is the number of elements in the array. Text number of elements is of array, text size of array zero. Limitations, static arrays only. The size of operator works for arrays whose size is known at compile time. For dynamically allocated arrays or arrays passed to functions, size of cannot be used to determine the size. Pointer arrays. If you pass an array to a function, what you actually pass is a pointer to the first element. In this case, size of applied to the pointer will give you the size of the pointer, not the array. Multidimensional arrays. When dealing with multidimensional arrays, size of can be used to calculate the number of elements in each dimension if the array size is fully known. Conclusion. The size of operator is a powerful tool for determining the number of elements in a static array. By understanding how to use size of effectively, you can easily compute the size of arrays and manage your data more efficiently. However, be mindful of its limitations, especially with dynamically allocated arrays or when dealing with pointers.